just like anything, you're doing a show. You want to give the audience a mixture of what you've done in your life. I mean, that's it. Whatever you were famous for, whatever, you're taking them through a musical journey. You know, that's the expression. <laughs> and you're, you're giving them a cross-section of the stuff that you like yourself or that's something that, you know, you know, that song on that, off that album, a lot of people play that, a lot of people like that. You get, you get some feedback before you go and put a tour together. You're already, they're already playing your stuff. And, and then you go, okay, well, we better put that one in, we better put that one in. We need a slow one, you know. And obviously Go Now was my hit, so that went in there. Um, the Beatles' little section. Um, and then we needed an opener. Well, perfect, the Venus and Mars opening, you know. The lights, ding, the show's opening. You know, it's a bit like Sgt. Pepper but with a different flavour, you know. So that was a great opener. And then just going through the different styles. And whatever works visually too, don't forget, because we were experimenting with backdrop, lighting, lasers. The Who's Laser Company, you know, Wiggy Wolf was the guy who was, we were liaising with. And again, the sound system, this Apex sound system. So it was all combined to make that show, like as variety full as, but so many people say to me, saw you in 76, da 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 da, because that's what they remember, you know. And um, it was a pretty powerful tour, I must say. You go on tour, you do that, and then suddenly you go back in the studio, and now you want to come up with something a little bit different, you know. So, yeah, in a sense, he was thinking about that from the point of view of, of uh, maybe the next tour is going to be slightly different, because now we're going to have somebody else singing here, and there's going to be more people singing solo lead parts joe english the good singer got a song i get a few more and, and in other words come up with something and if they didn't come up with a song paul would write it for them um we didn't do a uh, note you never wrote i don't know if we did that ever but i live but he wrote that for me see he thought well this will be a good song for denny uh, to just to get me to sing something spirits of ancient egypt he wrote for me because he wanted me to have more of a vibe. And then he said, have you got any more stuff of your own? That kind of thing. And then I all came up with, you know, Deliver Your Children and, and Time to Hide and, and the other ones. Because I'd had them as songs, I mean, I had them as little ideas when I'm maybe, you know, I don't know, doing my own thing. I'd be, have a month off or something, come up with a couple of ideas. And then he'd say, look, OK, we need some songs. And then I would say, OK, well, I got this one. Bang, you know, it's done. There was never any of this like, well, I don't like that one too much. So what about, have got any more? You know, whatever we came up with, we did something with. And again, going back to how they end up is what's the main important thing. But usually they ended up pretty good, you know, with a combination of all the players that, again, knew how to, you know, make their own things up. I, but I knew whatever I was going to write, he was going to be able to put something good to. That's what I'm, That's the point I'm making, because I already knew, you know, subconsciously that he, he would like it, because I'm writing it with him in mind. You know, see that, you know what I'm saying? It kind of comes together like that. And, and especially if you're making a conscious, a, a conscious effort to put something on an album, this is now got to be different to the last one, you know. It's like as like like we're doing here in the studio. We're doing a concept album. It starts in England. It comes across on a sailboat. It gets to America. It takes up all the influences from the from the east coast to the west coast of all the American music and ends up in L.A. and then Vegas. In other words, it's an English combination with American music, and that's the concept. Well. It's like any stage show. You, you take people through a journey, and that's what you do. And, and then you, you work out each song where it's going to go in that journey, slow, fast, key, change, to get the maximum reaction and to not get bored <laughs> as a band. You, know, you don't want to just go and play the same songs all night, verse, different versions of the same song. So you, you, know, you automate. And, and that comes from working in the clubs too. Because if the, if the audience is starting to yawn or, you know, drink a little bit too much, you don't want to give them too many so, s slow songs, you know what I mean? So it's all, it's all part of all your technique that you, you pick up along the way and then you put into albums. So 
that was that album had to be something different is all I'm saying and then that difference was let's get everybody singing simple as that you know it, it was a natural progression from what we hadn't done dun, 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 you know the way it went and that's why that album stands out again it's a completely different direction 